Qualcomm just announced the Snapdragon 855 Plus, and this is a little bit weird for Qualcomm because usually they just announce one flagship SOC a year, usually around December, and then it trickles into high-end flagship phones like the Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus. And that still kind of holds true here. The Snapdragon 855 Plus isn't exactly a new CPU. In fact, it's using pretty much the same hardware. The only differences here are that it's overclocked versus the standard variant Snapdragon 855. So like I said, the hardware is the same. It's still using the Cryo 485 CPU, but it's actually overclocked to 2.96 gigahertz instead of 2.84 gigahertz like we saw on the regular Snapdragon 855. Now this is only about a 4% improvement, so you're not probably going to see a huge speed increase here, but Qualcomm did say that this was specifically made for mobile gamers, so the real story is in the GPU. Now Qualcomm's not giving us exact numbers, but they did tell us that the Adreno 640 GPU is 15% faster than it was in the Snapdragon 855. And that's a pretty big gap. I really do want to test this out once I actually get a device that is using this chip so we can verify whether or not that's true. Now an interesting thing to note here is that popular mobile games like PUBG Mobile or Fortnite Mobile are actually capped at 30 to 60 FPS. A few of those games are capped at 30 FPS unless you have special phones like a Galaxy Note 9 or an, an iPhone. So it's really going to take more advantage of the games that allow for higher frame rates. For example, the OnePlus 7 Pro has a 90 hertz display. So say that there was a OnePlus 7T Pro that used this special Snapdragon 855 Plus SoC. If games were actually able to take advantage of those higher frame rates, it would be really nice to be able to play a game at 90 FPS and that 15% boost on the GPU is probably actually going to help you there. Qualcomm said that you can probably expect phones with the Qualcomm Snapdragon 855 Plus SoC launching in the second half of 2019. And that's kind of interesting because it's already July, but we have been hearing rumors of the Asus ROG Phone 2 and also things like the Galaxy Note 10 Pro. So they also will probably feature this SoC and we'll have to test more when we actually get these devices in our hands. And that's pretty much all that's new here. It's still got all the same AI features that were present in the Snapdragon 855. It's still using the same X24 LTE modem and the same X55 G modem. So yeah, it's pretty much the same chip. It's just kind of overclocked. So let us know, is this chip actually going to make a difference to you? Do you play mobile games that can reach frame rates higher than 60 FPS? Let us know in the comment section below. We've also got an article over on Android Authority with a little bit more detail about this chip, and I'm sure we're going to go really hardcore into testing and deep dives as soon as we get units in for review. So I'll catch you in the next video.